parents are on high alert after an attempted abduction of a teenager in northwest Jacksonville. Police releasing this sketch of a man they believe is responsible for that crime. The suspect is described to be a man in his 40s, about 6 feet 3 inches tall with a muscular build. His car is described as a black Chevy Impala with dark tinted windows. And investigators are telling us it happened in the early morning hours last Thursday near Waynesboro Avenue. News for Jackson reporter Corley Peel joining us live with parents' concerns. Corley? Parents are on edge knowing the man wanted for trying to abduct a teen is still out there. They're hoping someone will recognize him in this sketch and put him behind bars. This is the sketch of the man who police say tried to abduct a teen in Northwest Jacksonville last week. Beverly Gousey has grandchildren who live in the area and says the crime is alarming. I think about that all the time. That's why I walk with my babies. That, that's very scary. According to JSO, the teen was walking down Waynesboro Avenue around 6.45 a.m. last Thursday when a man in his 40s approached them. Police say he got out of his black Chevrolet Impala and headed towards the teen. As the teen tried to run, they fell. The suspect then grabbed the teen's shirt but wasn't able to keep a hold. Fortunately, the team broke free and ran away, according to police. They need to have somebody to watch, to be around the schools to watch the kids. Parents also worry about other recent crimes in the neighborhood. According to JSO's crime map, 18 crimes were reported within a mile of the area. Those include assaults, burglary, and armed robbery. But I hope they find him because he could do it to somebody else. With the suspect still on the run, Gelsey says she's keeping her grandkids extra close on their walks to school. No one I spoke with today recognized the suspect, but if you see him or if you know where he is, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.